Shaura and welcome to a new video from NZ Pocket Guide. Today I'm going to go over the absolute best short walks on the southern end of New Zealand and there are really many to choose from. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's begin with one of the most picturesque places on the southern end of New Zealand, and that's the Hokitika Gorge. The short walk, which is a loop of about one hour, it's two kilometers, which is 1.2 miles, features amazing milky blue waters, a swing bridge to go over the gorge and get some amazing shots there, and stunning cliff formations. It is a really great place to take a bit of a stroll during your road trip on the west coast of the southern end of New Zealand. Speaking of the west coast of the southern end of New Zealand, the next entry on this list is Lake Matheson. Lake Matheson is this lake that you've seen on most of the New Zealand postcards featuring a perfectly reflect reflective lakes and vistas of the, south, uh, the southern Alps. This lake is absolutely amazing and the hike to get there is very flat and suitable for all fitness levels. It is about 2.6 kilometers, which is 1.6 miles, and will take you about one and a half hours to do as a loop. Next up on our list, we are still on the west coast of the south island of New Zealand, and we have the Oparara Arches. Those arches are absolutely amazing, and the sheer scale of them is hard to fathom unless you have been there yourself. The walk is 50 minutes return. It's two kilometers, uh, which is about 1.2 miles. Next up on the list, we have one of the crown jewel of the southern end of New Zealand, and that's Milford Sound. The foreshore walk will give you some of the best picture opportunities of the Milford Sound area. Yes, sometimes even better than on a cruise. There, you'll be able to take pictures of all those towering peaks bursting out of the seas. And the walk itself is, well, it will take you 30 minutes to walk that 400 meter hike because you're gonna take that many pictures. And by the way, 400 meters is only about 437 yards. Next on the list, we're going back up north of the southern end of New Zealand, and that's the walk to the center of New Zealand. So like in every country in the world, New Zealand has a geological, ge geographical sorry, center, and it is located near the town of Nelson. The hike to get there is about 30 minutes one way because it's mostly uphill, and it is about 800 meters, which is 875 yards. In the Catlins region of the southern end of New Zealand, it, uh, there is a lot of different short walks which are worth doing. But if I have to only pick one, I will pick Cathedral Caves. You have to pay a small fee in order to tackle this walk and you have to go at the correct tide times, but it only takes 30 minutes and will feature amazing beach and rock formation that you won't want to miss. And finally, rounding up this list, we have Farariki Beach, which is only a 20 minute one way walk. It's about one kilometer, so it's about 0.6 miles. And it features amazing rock formations far out at sea, as well as sand dunes. And there's even a baby seal nursery nearby that, uh, you know, if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to see some great wildlife. It's definitely worth checking out. All right, so there is much more for you on nzpocketguide.com, so make sure to check it out. And the whole team is joining me in wishing you the best time ever in New Zealand.